What would happen in Paper Mario the Origami King if we had Bowser as a partner right from the beginning of the game? Or what would happen if we cloned Luigi? Or what would happen if we took partners to parts of the world that they normally wouldn't be able to see? Today, we edit the game's save data to answer all these questions and more. A quick warning, if you decide to try doing this yourself, make sure that you have backups of your save file and that you know how to use them. Because if the game suspects you of tampering with your save file, then the game will just load as if you don't have a save file. So first, let's see what happens if we have Bowser unlocked as a follower right from the beginning of the game. He's kind of large, so it's funny seeing him try to fit into tight little areas and teleporting up to Mario because he keeps getting stuck behind obstacles while walking around. Bowser has interesting collision detection properties in the world where he doesn't want to be pushed into holes and he doesn't want to move through objects but this doesn't really seem to be the case in cutscenes. In a lot of cutscenes, since Bowser is so large, he often ends up covering Olivia, and it looks like Bowser has Olivia's eager dialogue where he's sharing how curious he is about exploring the world. And since in a lot of these cutscenes you're not supposed to have a follower, you end up seeing funny things like this where Bowser clips into the side of the tram and he rides along with the tram like this. Sometimes when we enter a new area, Bowser has a strange spawn location and he ends up falling through the ground, but just like the original Paper Mario games, he spawns correctly on the ground after a moment of falling. You may remember in Paper Mario the Origami King that Bowser says that he doesn't want to follow Mario into a pipe. But if we edit the game's save data to have a different follower instead of Bowser at this point, and we try to enter the pipe, then the game wants to trigger that dialogue box from Bowser, and since it can't because Bowser isn't there, the game ends up crashing. Trying to go down a pipe crashes Paper Mario. However, if you edit the game's save data to have Bowser as a follower and you go into any other pipe, then Bowser's happy to follow you down to any other pipe. There's also an interesting property in cutscenes when you enter an area for the first time in this game. There are certain areas where when you enter them for the first time in this game, a cutscene triggers. And in some of these cutscenes, you're normally not supposed to have a follower with you. Sometimes when you enter these new areas, you can't see your follower. And sometimes you can see them, but they're stuck at the loading zone and they don't follow you. But if you exit this area and you re-enter, and now the cutscene won't play, then the follower just ends up following you normally after this. Before we keep looking at the strange properties of Bowser and hacked followers in battles, let's take a moment at Luigi for a moment while we're still at Princess Peach's castle. Let's say we bring a clone of Luigi with us when we go back to Princess Peach's castle where we have to, you know, save Luigi. What happens if we bring Luigi with us when we have to go save Luigi? Well, have you ever seen someone passive aggressively pretend that someone isn't there by ignoring them and talking about them in third person? Well, Olivia kind of does this to Luigi, and pretty hard. She calls Luigi's cart a pile of junk right to his face, and Luigi has no response to this. If we go up to the cart, Olivia says we won't be able to move it ourselves, even though in a few moments Luigi ends up moving it all by himself. We find Luigi's hat. Olivia asks if writing Luigi on the inside of his hat is something Luigi would do, again, ignoring that Luigi's right there in front of her when she could just ask him directly. And to really give him a slap in the face, Olivia asks where Luigi could be right now. Of course, Luigi doesn't speak up, but the clone of Luigi that's trapped inside the wall calls out for help. We go to help the clone Luigi. We pull aside a piece of the wall, and out comes a crumpled up second Luigi. The dialogue continues as normal, and the fact that there are now two Luigis doesn't seem to bother anybody, and they don't even seem to notice that there are two Luigis. One Luigi goes off in search of the key for Princess Peach's castle, and the other one follows Mario and keeps saying nothing. So it seems like clone followers don't really do anything in cutscenes, but what about in battles? Near the beginning of the game, even though I had Bowser as my follower, he wouldn't show up in any of the battles. I thought at first that maybe he was invisible, and if I do nothing in my turns, then maybe an invisible Bowser will attack, but no, Bowser, he was following me in the field, but... Once we got into a battle, he would just disappear, and then he'd appear again after the battle. I thought at first that maybe this was because a lot of the earlier fights in the games are like tutorials where Olivia shows you how the combat system works in the game, and also early in the game, you're not supposed to have a follower this early, so it makes sense that even if you somehow edit the game to get a follower this early, then your follower shouldn't show up. So I tried going a bit later into the game where you can unlock followers and using Bowser to get into fights here, but the same problem happened. I was getting into these fights and Bowser just wasn't appearing. I was wondering what could be causing this and I thought, let's try some of these same battles 
with a different follower instead of Bowser. And when I tried it with some other followers with the exact same battles, we were able to get different followers to show up. And I even tried the folded Bowser follower, and he was able to show up in battles and help out a lot. So maybe it has to do with the size of the follower, maybe the Bowser follower is too large and that's why he's not appearing in these battles. And then I went back to the beginning of the game, and with these earlier followers, yes, you can have these earlier followers near the beginning of the game, and you could also have them help out in battles, and the folded of Bowser is a very powerful companion to have near the beginning of the game who can basically defeat everything for Mario. And you could also use other followers. You could use the Bone Goomba, you could use the Sombrero guy, you could use Professor Toad, the Green Toad, Luigi, and Spike, but some of them don't show up in battles, and some of them do. There's also something interesting about the Professor Toad follower. Normally, you could only have him in the desert, and he won't follow you outside of the desert. When you're in the desert with Professor Toad, you could press down, and he'll dig. When he digs, a dialogue box pops up, and sometimes you get a couple of coins. But what happens if we edit the game's save data so that we have Professor Toad outside of the desert? Well, if we're in this forest, as an example, and we dig with Professor Toad, his dialogue box pops up, but there's some strange text in the dialogue box that can vary a bit, and sometimes you get some coins and sometimes you don't. And you may be wondering about our favorite bob -omb, Bobby. Can we clone Bobby? Can we take Bobby to places that he hasn't seen before? The game's coding for Bobby is a lot more complex, and answering this question requires its own video. So if you'd be interested in seeing this, make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so that you could get a notification when this video comes out. And if you're interested in that, make sure to leave a comment on this video letting me know so I could see if people are interested in seeing this idea. I also live stream exploring this kind of stuff on Twitch. I'm currently live Wednesdays and Fridays. If you'd like to stop by and see this live, sometime. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it, and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care. Where are we? What is this location? It kind of reminds me of the spot in Koopa Village, or near Koopa Village, but no, I don't recognize this. Where are we? What the hell is this place? Oh, and we could walk on the water. Where are we? This is this isn't a place in the game, is it?